Hi, it's me, Sarah, and I'm back again with another haul, this time from Reformation. And I know it's super expensive, but I am a fool and I will pay up every time because their stuff is just too cute. It might be in its flop era, but there's always some hidden gems that I'm able to find. And they also just have really good basics. I bought seven things, a skirt, three tops, two dresses, and one matching top skirt set. I'm gonna show you what I got, try everything on, tell you what I think, and let you know what I'm gonna keep or return. But anyway, if you've been watching my other hauls, you know I've been on the search for something red for summer, and I just haven't found the right thing yet. So I got some red stuff here, and hopefully we can find a winner. But I am pretty excited about this haul, so I'm gonna stop blabbering and just jump right in. Up first is this low waist Mia Linen Skort. I got it in a size two, and this was $148. I do already own the score in white and I really love it. If you saw my Coachella outfits video, you know which one I'm talking about. But I have since accidentally kind of shrunk it, but it still fits. It's just a little cheeky or it's almost exposing my cheeks. I had bought a size four and it was kind of too loose around my hips. So now that it's shrunk a little, it fits a little better. It's just that my cheeks are almost showing. But if I wear it low enough, it's not a problem. So when it came down to picking a size for this one, I decided to go with the two. Hopefully if I keep it, I don't shrink it because otherwise these are just booty shorts. Anyways, I really like the skort. Let's see how it looks on. I may have played myself with this one. The two is too tight. I should have stuck with the four. I don't know why I got it in my head. It's cute and I really like it, but my booty cheeks are popping out, so I don't think I'm gonna turn around. While I do love the white version that I have, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the black one. It's kind of see-through, so you can see right through, but it does have shorts under, which is kind of nice, but I don't know. I feel like if I did get my right size, I would like it a lot better, so I might just exchange and see what I think. But it's super cute. These shorts are so comfortable. I loved wearing the white ones at Coachella. So I think I am gonna exchange for the next size up and then decide from there. Anyways, let's put one of the tops on with this. Up next, I have this Dusk Knit Top. The color is Horizon and it's this really cute pale blue. I got this in an extra small and it was $58. I've been wanting one of these tanks for quite some time and I'm finally giving it a try. I have seen some other pretty good ones from Brandy, but I never really shop at Brandy. Let's go ahead and pop it on. I will be honest with you, I was a little unsure about this top, but it's so trendy. I had to try it and I'm glad I did because I really like it. I really love this baby blue color. I really love the fit of it. I love wearing tank tops, but sometimes I want a high neck tank top without it being a racer back because I do not like racer back tank tops. Anyways, this is the perfect in between. It's just what I'm looking for and I really do love it. And paired with this skirt, I feel so mod, so 50s, 60s. I just feel so darn cute. Usually I do prefer more cropped tops just because again, I'm petite and I have a short torso and short legs, but crop just tends to look better on me. But this one being kind of like a full length, long line top, I'm kind of liking it. Tucked into a mini skirt, maybe even low rise jeans. I'm feeling cute. So this one, I think I am gonna keep. I keep trying not to buy black or white tops. And now I'm just buying blue tops and I need to stop. I need to try other colors. Black, white, and blue just looks so good. I also love how this top can be super bra friendly. I'm not currently wearing a bra. I'm just wearing little cake covers, but because it has a high neck and a high back, if you choose to wear a bra, you ain't seeing nothing. Anyways, I think this one's gonna be a keep. Let's move on. All right, this one is a repeat purchase. I already own this baby tee. I have it in white. I have it in this exact same size. I am rebuying it again because I wore the other one to pieces. It's stained. The fabric is so thin from washing it so much. I just needed to get a new one because that one was a little raggedy. 
This is my favorite baby tea of all time. It is the Muse Tea. This was $38 and I got an extra small. All right, here is the baby tea. This one I already know is a keep. It is my favorite baby tea of all time. It is perfect. The length is perfect. The fabric is perfect. The sleeves are perfect. I love this one and will always shell out 40 bucks for this t-shirt. I have it in gray and I love it. I already had it in white and I love it. I have it in a blue and I love it. So I might even splurge and get the black because it is just that good. I need it in every color. So yeah, no notes. This is a keep. Rough formation dresses are always kind of hit or miss for me. I am 5'1", pretty petite. I typically wear a two sometimes a four depending how I'm feeling. And most of the time, the dresses just don't fit right. They're either too long in the torso or the mini dresses aren't actually mini on me and they're kind of long. So I would have to hem them to get the look that I want. So we are giving their petite sizing a try today. This is the petite calyx dress. The color is called Last Tango. I got it in a small petite and it was $148. Okay, so I just might need to start buying the petite sizing in reformation dresses. The length is perfect. The boobs are sitting where my boobs are. The only issue is that because I have a little bit of a booty, it's shorter in the back, which is a little worrisome because just there's more opportunity to flash, if that makes sense. But I mean, I started to wear like little shorts underneath for the purpose of not feeling too vulnerable when wearing flowy dresses. So that's, I'm not too concerned, but it's a small concern. And I know a lot of people don't like this like viscose fabric because they say it's not high quality for the price, which is probably true, but they just lay so nicely that I don't care. This dress is also very bra friendly. This dress is a little bit low cut, so you would have to wear like a low cut bra, but you can wear a bra, so you can have that support. Oh, also when throwing on this dress, it was a little concerning because there's no side zipper or back zipper. So I was a little worried I wasn't gonna be able to get it on, but it, it just flew right over my head and onto my body. So if you're concerned about that, it wasn't really a problem for me. Ugh! I do already have a dress that kind of looks like this, but it's a halter, but I, I'm so tempted to keep this one. I might just try and hold out for like a different color maybe one that's not red, even though I have been saying I needed something red for summer. So anyways, I don't know. I'm gonna need help with this one. Please tell me what to do. All right, while well, you write down your comments, I'm gonna throw on the next thing. So it was actually in the Reformation store the other day and I found this cute tank top, which I absolutely love. And when I was shopping online, I saw these delightful matching shorts. These are the Cara Knit Short. The color is red stripe. I got them in a small and they were $78. Kinda expensive for some shorts. I contemplated getting the medium because I don't want them to be too tight, but I think they're just gonna be too tight no matter what. That's probably just the look. My other main concern is that they're gonna look like underwear on me. <laughs> More specifically, that my booty cheeks are gonna show and they're just gonna look like boy shorts. So I hope that doesn't happen. We'll find out right now. This top I already love because I've already bought it and worn it, but the shorts, they're cute, but really the only place I see myself wearing them is around the house, just because they give off more loungewear vibes rather than like going out vibes. Well, not like going out, but like going out in public. I don't think I would be comfortable wearing them because I have some substance to my butt. So any type of like cloth shorts just kind of accentuate that and then makes me feel self-conscious that everyone's looking over there. And while I do know what I got, I don't really want to show it off all the time particularly in public. I just don't have the confidence for that, so I tend to stay away from wearing clothing like that. But man oh man, do I like this set. It is so cute, it's very comfortable. The waistband is a little tight. I kind of want to get a medium, but I feel like it'd be too bunchy in the crotch area if I were to get a medium, so I think I might stick with the small. But again, I'm not 100% certain on these shorts, so please, please, please help me out. All right, we got two more things. I have been super into the boat neckline with a very open back. So 
I got a dress with a boat neckline and a super open back. This is the Soleil knit dress. I got it in a size small and it was $128. Now this dress didn't come in petite sizing, but I'm hoping that it'll fit just right. I went with the extra small because I feel like the tighter the dress, the more it kind of rides up and then it kind of compensates for it being too long. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. I really wanted to love this, but I just don't think it's perfect. It's too long, so I would have to get it hemmed, but I'm having the problem where it's kind of like short on my butt, but long in the front. So is it possible to hem it slightly longer in the back, shorter in the front? Maybe, but that's gonna cost me some extra money. Also, this is like a stretchy cotton fabric, so lint is gonna stick to it. And it kind of just makes it look a little more casual and not as nice, which I don't really mind because I would prefer to look more casual than like dressy but i think the top i don't know there's something off about it that i'm not loving but i do wish it was slightly shorter to show off the legs a little more but i do absolutely love the back the back is so cute. I need more tops like this. I think I just might return this and try and find tops like this in exchange for the dress. She's a super cute dress. Is she worth the price? Probably not. Am I gonna wear her every day? Probably not. So it's gonna go back. I have been seeing this set everywhere on TikTok and it's the perfect shade of red. It's the cutest little set, so I am giving it a try. And luckily, they did come in the petite sizing. This is the Petite's Grace Linen Two-Piece Set. It was $248 and I got a size two petite. Let's throw it on. All right, we made it to the final item, which is this cute red linen set. However, I don't know what to think of it. So let's try and break it down together to see if I like it or if it's just not gonna be worth keeping. So this top is basically the linen version of the blue top that I tried on at the beginning of this haul. And because it comes in petite, it just fits so well. It does not have a whole lot of stretch because it is linen. So I do appreciate that it has a side zipper so you can get it on more easily. Moving on to the skirt, it's super cute. It is high-waisted and I did get a size two and it is a size two petite. So I thought after trying on the size two in the low-rise black skirt that this was not gonna fit me, but surprisingly it does. I mean, it fits around my hips, but around my waist, it is loose. So I would have to get that tailored, but I don't know if I want it to be high rise. I was hoping that it was low rise or at least mid rise so that it doesn't look like a dress. It actually looks like two pieces. Also, why can't they just make every skirt a skirt? I don't think anyone really wants skirt in the front, shorts in the back. They just want a skirt with shorts underneath. So Reformation, if you're watching, can you do something about that? Or if any other brand is watching, please do something about that because I think most of us just want a skirt with shorts built in. <sighs> Anyways, so what I think I am feeling is that the skirt is disappointing, but the top I really love. And unfortunately, this is a set. So it's not like I can just keep the top. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Is it worth altering the skirt or should I just return everything? I don't know. I really don't know. All right, to kind of give you a better idea of what I was envisioning, I kind of just folded over the skirt a little bit and I feel like this looks better, right? Right? Or am I just wrong? I don't know, but I feel cute. The red is perfect. I love linen sets, but it's just slightly missing the mark. And I don't know if I want to pay extra to get it perfect at the price this is currently at. Please let me know your thoughts. Anyways, that was the last thing. That's everything that I got. Please, please, please help me out and let me know what you think I should keep or return. But of course, I will let you know what I do end up keeping down in the description. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this haul and if you made it this far, you're a rock star. All right, well, that's all I have. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.